Our first guests tonight are actors so committed to their craft, they got legally married 20 years ago just to prepare for their roles as Michael Jordan's mom and dad in the new movie, Air. It opens in theaters April 5th. Please welcome Julius Tennant and Viola Davis. <laughs> I brought George. Viola, you know every time you're on the show, I say, will you please bring George on one yeah. of these times? <laughs> and it so turns out you guys are in the movie George together. George is here. It works perfectly, George. <laughs> hey, George. You're saying George because you call him George Jefferson. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. George. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm pretty much George. Are you George Everything Jeff Everything except the walk. Except for the walk. <laughs> yeah. The walk is something. Why not the walk? I mean, anything you're going to take. It's from not George. a sexy walk. It isn't. <laughs> nah. It doesn't have enough swag in it. It seems like it's. She got... likes a little swag. Too. Okay. I a do. A little bit of swag in the uh -huh. walk. Uh, what, in what other ways, Julius, are you like George Jefferson? Because Viola has told us this, and I'm wondering what specifically she means. Well, when she talks about me being George Jefferson, she talks about me being, uh, you know, organized. About uh -huh. Very me, organized. Very organized. Know. He loves dry cleaning. Did, you yes, do. I do. I, I get everything dry cleaned, but not with creases, Jimmy. When you say you get everything dry clean, does that mean like everything, like t-shirts, underwear? No, not t-shirts and no, underwear. No, he's not going to do that okay. because it's going to cost money. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, and I'm like George that way, too. I, I'm very thrifty. You only get the things that need to be dry clean. There you dry go. Dry clean. Yes. That's it. Have you seen when Viola is on the show talking about you? I have. Do you me? feel that you're being fairly represented? I feel like I'm being pretty fairly represented. Oh, Okay, good. All right, good. All right, that's great. Well, that's good to know. That's very interesting. As I remember, one time Viola was here. As it was your like your birthday was coming up on Christmas Eve, right? That's yes. right. And she said, "No, I'm not getting them a cake because it's enough with Christmas." And well, and that's what they always say. It's enough yep. with Christmas. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's... you know what? The thing about it is, it's a lot. To think about Christmas, which is December 25th, yeah. and to think about his birthday, that's December 24th. Yeah. So I just like sometimes I just meld them together. And yeah, I it's always, like, Jimmy, like I always Julius, try to... Jesus, and it turns out Jesus. <laughs> oh my God, Jimmy, I always try to tell. Let's do this in June. Uh, <laughs> but nobody goes along with that. No, you should get a birthday in June. We should arrange that for you. Yeah. June is our anniversary. Oh, how many years? 20 years. 20 years. <laughs> You know, it's like we were dancing. We were dancing backstage, and I remember when we were dancing at our vow renewal, and someone said, "Y'all are dancing like y'all met at the club." <laughs> <laughs> Where did you, you guys met on a TV show? We met City on the City of Angels. Yep. City of Angels. Stephen Bochco show in 1999. Uh -huh. Would you mind taking us through how it, where, how the spark uh, began? And do you want to tell the story? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well. Listen, well, we, we can both ahead. tell a story, but I was dogging a bagel with um, tuna fish on it. Okay. A cinnamon raisin bagel with tuna fish, and believe it or not, it's really, really good. But go ahead, Julius. And I was, and I was <laughs> waiting in line to make my sandwich after she made her sandwich. <laughs> and uh, I noticed her, and I said, hey, how you doing, you know? Then later on, we uh, went to the set. Mm -hmm. And I passed blood to her. I said, this seems like a pretty nice lady. I said, at the end of the day, I think I'm going to give her my card. And uh, that's what I did. I gave her my card. Card. Yeah. So, and, I guess and? It, well, I gave you my card only because my mom told me. My mom said, if you want to meet a girl, don't ask for a phone number. Give her your card. If she's interested, she'll call you. She promptly called me a month later. <laughs> <laughs> a month? Yep. That's playing it cool. Were you playing it cool? Is that why you waited a month? No, I had bad credit, and I didn't have a car. <laughs> so I was like, no one wants to meet a 34-year-old woman on a bus with bad credit. OK. So I was trying to get my stuff together, and I was like, you know what? It's going to take too long to get the credit right. And Jimmy, I told her, I said, I said, Viola, don't worry about the car. I got a car. 
And I said, don't worry about your credit being bad. I got good credit. <laughs> so I got you. Yeah, he was How attractive. long before you guys moved in together? Like, how much time elapsed? Uh, not a lot of time. Not really. a lot of time. <laughs> Her motivating factor was the money. <laughs> She's kind of like, oh, we're splitting $400 rent? Oh, I'm moving in. <laughs> no, it was. I'm not lying to you. Splitting that rent coming from New York, I was like, and he was cute, you know? Why not? Because he had a tight ass. Yeah. <laughs> you... <laughs> you told me once, you said once that you like a man with a big neck, and it was his neck that attracted. Yeah, didn't you have a 20... Back in the well, day, he back had a 23 in the day, inch um, neck. A 23 inch neck? Yeah, when I played and football. And a 52 inch chest. Were you just shirtless all the time? Well, you know, I went to the big tall man shop. I could only fit three colors ecru, white, and blue. <laughs> okay. They were too long, so I cut, I cut them off here, and uh, they fit here, so. What was the first date like um, when you guys? Magical. Um, I assume he picked you up. He picked me up in his car, uh -huh. which, because, you know, I, I would have had to take the bus. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we went to Crocodile, which is a restaurant oh, right on the water in Santa Monica, or it was, and we went there for the bread basket. Yes, Jimmy, the bread was so we good. We ate the hell out of that Man, bread basket. that bread was so good. Hot and good. <laughs> And that's and how you like bread, me. Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, I like bread. And that's how he pulled me. You need to go to Crocodile to the bread basket there. And they put rosemary in the bread. I was like, sure, listen, She's I'm like, there. I'm there. <laughs> it's that bottomless bread that really uh, won your heart. Wow. And his car was clean and he smelled good. What are you going to do for your 20th anniversary? Well, you know, we're going to be in Cape Town, South Africa, so I have to come up with something spectacular. Yes, And I got yes. a few things in mind. Maybe a safari or something like that. Yes. Yeah. You know? yeah, 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 special. Yeah, yeah. yeah. wow. Yeah. You, it's been magical. You're going to the, be there working, or are you going to be there vacationing? We're going to be there working. Oh, I see. And then okay. enjoying, you know, the landscape. Yeah, enjoying uh -huh. the landscape. Uh -huh. I love having the two of you here. You know that, right? Uh -huh. you know, I've been dreaming We're of this. We're not going to tell you all of our secrets, though. Maybe I'll get a couple of yours well, she's of told you enough secrets over the yeah, years. Yeah, tell me one about Viola. She's told me so many things well, about listen, you. Well, listen, there are I, none. I think <laughs> there's not many, but most people don't know that Viola is really shy. You really? wouldn't think it, but she is really a shy person and very private. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Is that why you're not no. saying anything, really? That's why yeah. I'm not saying anything, Jimmy. I'm no, I'm seriously <laughs> shy. You are, huh? That she surprises really yeah, me. It does? Yeah. Yeah, it's a, yeah. I mean, it I surprises it's... me, too. Yeah. <laughs> when, it's, when it pops up and I just shut down, usually it's in a room full of people who are not shy. Right, right, and right. And then I just <laughs> shut down. Well, I'm glad you're comfortable with all of us here. I'm good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to you guys, um, this movie is great. You're great in it. It's called Air. You play the parents of Michael Jordan. We're going to wow. take a look at that when we come back. Uh, Julius Tennant and Viola Davis are with us. Are you Mr. Jordan? James? Uh, Sonny Vaccaro. I'm with Nike. Oh, man. Here we go. Oh. James? <laughs> Who is it? Hello, Mrs. Mrs. Jordan. Uh, my name's Sonny Vaccaro. I'm with Nike. I believe Mr. Falk made it clear that we weren't interested. Yes, I, I was told not to call. Do you typically make it a habit of showing up at people's front doors unannounced? Well, maybe the worst of all my faults, and believe me, there are many, but <laughs> I, I don't like to take no for an answer. And I actually think your son should be endorsed by someone with that exact mindset. That is Viola Davis and Julia Tennant, and an uh, actor to be named later. In the new movie, Air, um, and of course, uh, Ben Affleck has been talking. He told us and he's told many people that Michael insisted that you be the actor to play his mother. When did he tell you that? Did he tell you right away? We have not seen Michael Jordan. So the, um, I've only met Michael Jordan one time, coming out of a hotel in New York. Yep. Because his wife was a How to Get Away with Murder fan. Oh, and she stopped you? And she and he and he and her, they stopped me and said, oh, he said, oh man, 
my wife and my mother-in-law, they love how to get away with murder. <laughs> that was my only contact with Michael Jordan until I heard he wanted me to play his mama. Did you then feel pressure? Like, I must yes. do this now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How do you say no to Michael Jordan? You don't. <laughs> and hope to get free Nikes. And what a, <laughs> and what a compliment also to play his <laughs> beloved mom, his yeah, beloved exactly. dad. And then Julie, was this a, like, a coincidence, or how did it well, so happen know, that you guys? I know the casting director, Mary Venu, very, very well. Uh -huh. And uh, she called my manager, and they thought, you know, Viola and Julius have been together a couple of decades almost, and the Jordans were together a long time, and Julius and Viola have such great chemistry. So you think Julius would want to do it? And I'm like, my, my manager called, and I said, oh, yeah, I love working with Viola. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so that's how it happened. And, you know, be honest, I went online, <laughs> and I saw a picture of me next to Michael Jordan, I was like, wait a minute, Julius? Because Julius sort of favors James Jordan a little bit. Uh -huh. I mean, they're both black. Uh -huh. <laughs> they're both bald. Yeah. They, they're both affable, you know, yeah. men. Yeah. So it's like... Yeah, Michael said his dad had the best personality in the world. Yeah, this well, is I'll tell you, Julius. Mr. Sonny Vaccaro gave us the best compliment. What did he uh, say? He said that we depicted the Jordans in the way he had remembered meeting them. And that was the wow. ultimate compliment. Yeah. Wow. Did you, when you guys were on set now working together, did you share share a trailer? No, we didn't share trailers. But she he had would come trailer. to my trailer to eat. Yeah. Like Tuna Jimmy fish Listen, with her, her trailer was was a little bit bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give her that. And uh, I went over to have lunch with her. And then she used to go, Jesus, you, you gonna stay around and hang out with me? I said, you know, hey, I'm going back to my castle. <laughs> so I, he would go, go back to his trailer and then, you know, stay in my, you know. So I'll yeah. see you in a minute. <laughs> and was it fun working together like this? I mean, you guys hadn't, I assume, hadn't really done that in quite some time. Well, you know what? We worked together a lot, but this, to me, was the right dynamic. Mm -hmm. You know, because really you cut off the trailer, but right after the trailer, you know, I go in the backyard with Sonny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I can't reveal the movie, right? Well, no, we, let me not say anything. We do know that the chew became very successful. I know, but you don't know what happens at the end of that. Yeah. Let me shut up while yeah. I mess up. <laughs> I don't want Amazon calling me. <laughs> you um the last time you were here, Viola, you had you were talking about how much you wanted to win the EGOT, the Emmy, oh. Grammy, Oscar, and Tony. You had the E at that time. And then I, I was watching the Grammys, like, I hope she, you know, whatever. It was actually before I think the Grammys started, and sure enough, you got the EGOT. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> Which explains why you had the bigger trailer. You don't have the EGOT, Julie. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, so hey, Does you know she what? keep the trophies good. tidy enough for your well, liking? Well, you know what? She doesn't keep them tidy, Jimmy. I keep them tidy. You keep them tidy, yeah. There's some in our office, very few, because she doesn't like to look at them. And then the others are in our office. Uh huh. I'm the guy that moves the older ones oh, the away garage. and put the newer ones in. Oh, there's so many coming there's in so and many, out. There's so many, Jimmy. Like getting rid of, like, there's oh, we're cluttered with trophies. So many. <laughs> which is one you threw out? Which, which of the trophies meant so little to you that you Jimmy, put it Jimmy, you're in trying the... to get me in trouble. <laughs> Jimmy, I don't throw any of them out. I just put them in boxes. You put them in boxes. I just cover them up. OK, all right. That mm -hmm. makes sense. I just. <laughs> <laughs> well, your paperback of your book is coming out. Yes. Um, uh, what, when is that coming out? Next week or next something? Week next week is coming out. Next week it's coming mm -hmm. out. Yeah. Very nice. Did you add anything to that? The EGOT, you know, sometimes in the paperback, you'll add a little extra something at the end. Like what? I don't know. Like. <laughs> Listen, let me Guess tell you something. After now. writing a book, I'm not adding nothing You're not to that. Adding anything that was I don't want anyone coming around trying to sue me for saying, you know, you said this and this and this and this and that. But I will say this: I am very proud of my book. Yes, you should be. The um, oh, you're proud of the book too. I am. I know the story, so I'm very proud of it. Is Viola <laughs> still um, hiding candy uh, in the dresser next to the bed oh, and eating it? Yeah, and... she still hides candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. What she is the does. candy that you hide? What's your candy of choice that you hide? Werther's. Werther's original. Jimmy, I try to get her to eat the sugar free, but she wants the full sugar. You know what? That is, that's a lie, Julius. No. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes I do put the sugar free on this side of my mouth and the full sugar on that side, and I swish them together. Last night she said to me, she said, you know the full sugar is better. <laughs>
<laughs> well, it's great to see you guys. I loved having you guys here together. And the movie is fantastic. It's called Air. It opens in theaters on April 5th. Julius Tennant and Viola Davis, everybody. We're back with Brett Goldstein.